interesting question this one the value of e has to be determined it's given in the form b square plus c square look at statement 1 d is given 42 d is bc so we can say that bc is 42 we know that e is b square plus c square the value of bc is known let's try to present e in form of bc b square plus c square is same as b plus c whole square minus 2bc we need to find the value of b plus c whole square we know that b square minus c square is 13 try solving it b square minus c square is equal to 13 and b into c is equal to 42 quite intuitively we can say 6 into 7 is 42 and and 7 square minus 6 square is 13. So the possible answers are 7 comma 6 and minus 7 comma minus 6. See B has to be greater in magnitude than C. So B can be 7 or minus 7 and C has to be respectively 6 and minus 6. C in each case B into C is 42 and while this may sound that there would be two possible answers C the value of E is B plus C whole square. 7 plus 6 whole square is 169 and negative 7 plus negative 6 whole square is also 169. So whether the values of B and C are this set or this set, the value of B plus C whole square doesn't change. This remains 169 minus 2BC, BC is known, minus 84. Whatever the value is, don't spend time in figuring this out. The point is that the value of E can be determined using statement 1 alone. This is sufficient. Now look at statement 2. We know 13 is equal to B square minus c square and e is equal to b square plus c square we have to find the value of e the value of c is given so let's try to eliminate b subtract the two equations negative 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 you have 13 minus e is equal to these get cancelled minus 2 c square c is known it's given negative 7 so the value of e can be determined once again don't waste time in figuring out the value the point is that by replacing c is equal to minus 7 you will be able to find some unique value of E. Statement 2 is also sufficient. D is the correct answer choice.